Welcome back, everybody, to episode number six of Defining Christianity. Today, we're going to look at a passage in John chapter 13, and uh, we're continuing our theme of this series, which is to really look at one scripture every episode to further define what does it mean to be a true Christian. Uh, Of course, we're looking at scriptures that talk about what does it mean to be a disciple, because Jesus never uses the word Christian. He only uses the word disciple. And his great commission in Matthew chapter 28, his command is that everybody in the world become one of his disciples. And so for you, Jesus' calling is the same as it is for everyone else. He wants you to be a disciple. He wants me to be a disciple. He wants actually everybody in the world to be a disciple. And so every episode, we're looking at one passage that looks at what Jesus says about what it means to be a disciple. And so it's been very exciting so far. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. And let's turn to John chapter 13. John chapter 13, verse 34. Um, Now here, this is a passage that will look very familiar to you. Uh, We're going to break it down a little bit more and then explain it. John chapter 13, verse 34. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So, of course, when we first read this, it sounds like a command that most of us have heard before. Uh, The command is what's usually called the golden rule, which is to love your neighbor as yourself, or to treat others as you would want to be treated. However, Jesus says this is a brand new command. So this is not the golden rule. This is not uh, love your neighbor as yourself. That was a command that had been around for centuries before Jesus. But Jesus is saying this is a new command. I'm going to love you a specific way. And I want you to love one another in the same way that I have loved you. Now, one another in this context is referring to those whom Jesus has already called to become disciples. And so he's surrounded here by what's known as his apostles, those that are already following him. And he's saying, I want you guys to be a family. I want you to build a fellowship where you are going to love each other the way that I've loved you. Which in this passage, he gets down on his hands and knees and washes their feet. And so he's saying, I want you to serve each other. I want you to be intimately involved in one another's lives. I want you to lay down your lives for each other. And right after this, Jesus then goes to the cross. And so he's giving them uh, a living illustration of what it means to build a fellowship or to build a church, which these guys become the foundation of the church of Christ. Pretty powerful. And so that foundation is built on the love that the disciples have for one another. Which, of course, for us today means that we should show a commitment and a devotion to fellowship with other disciples that was the same as Jesus's. It's a, it's a devotion where we lay down our lives. We're willing to jump in front of a bullet for our brothers and our sisters in Christ. We're willing to die for each other. We're in each other's lives. We go to church together. We worship together, of course. We give contribution, we give special missions, of course. This is funding the worldwide family. But then we're also, even outside of those meetings of the body, in each other's lives, being a family. And so it's cool, Jesus lays this out. He said, by this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another the way that I have loved you. And so are you active in a fellowship of disciples? And you can look at these other things that we've looked at in previous episodes and say, okay, well, my fellowship should look like this. But if we're loosely affiliated with a group or we don't quote unquote believe in organized religion, which many people say, then we don't get, we don't get the calling and we're not living the way that Jesus wants us to live as Christians. So hopefully that encourages you and thank you for joining us for episode number six of Defining Christianity.